Hi there, I'm Stephen Mayne, standing in front of the Victorian Parliament. On November 27, you can do something that's never happened before. You can elect a genuine independent candidate into the moribund Victorian Upper House. I'm standing in the Northern Metropolitan Region, which is one of the eight regions in the Upper House and includes the seat of Melbourne, which covers where we're standing now. Firstly, let's have a look how the voting system in the Upper House works. As part of a deal with the Rural Independence, Steve Brax agreed to introduce proportional representation into Victoria's Legislative Council at the 2006 election. Eight Upper House regions, each comprising 11 Lower House seats, were created and each elects five representatives in a Senate-style election. The quota for success is 16.6% of the vote. Five of these regions are based in metropolitan area around Melbourne, eastern, northern, western, southern and southeastern. There are three in regional Victoria, eastern, northern and western. This produces 40 MPs and at the moment there are 19 Labor, 16 Liberal, 3 Greens, 2 Nationals and 1 DLP. Northern Metropolitan takes in 11 Labor held seats. However, four of them, Melbourne, Richmond, Brunswick and Northcote, are in danger of falling to the Greens. Moving north, you get into the safest Labor seats in Victoria with the likes of Thomastown, Broadmeadows and then you also have Ivanhoe, Preston, Bundura, Mill Park and Yan Yin. As you can see from the primary votes last time, this is barren political turf for the Liberals and the most progressive territory in the country, as Adam Bant demonstrated when elected into the Federal Parliament for the Greens. So what's likely to happen in Northern Metropolitan this time? Greg Barber from the Greens is certain to get back, but there's very little prospect that a second Green could be elected. Matthew Guy for the Liberal Party is also certain to get back. But again, the Liberals are very unlikely to get a second MP up. The Labor Party, with its three MPs, is certainly going to get two. But the whole question for the 400,000 voters in Northern Metropolitan is do you want to elect a third Labor MP? And in particular, do you want to re-elect Nathan Murphy? We caught up with Nathan at the ballot draw for the Upper House in Thomastown. Critics of the Labor Party say that these days the factional machine has become a bit of a job placement agency. It's who you know, not what you know. After June 30 next year, 80% of all ALP senators in Canberra will be former union officials. Now Nathan Murphy might be a nice enough guy, but at the end of the day, he's the son of the Plumbers Union Assistant Secretary, Tony Murphy. He hasn't got much life experience outside of student politics, political staffer, party headquarters, union official, and then a comfortable position into the upper house when Theo Theophanes retired. I'm saying to the people of Northern Metropolitan that you can do better than Nathan Murphy. You can choose a genuine independent who'll keep both sides of politics honest, who'll go out there and keep the councils of Northern Metropolitan honest, and also strongly represent the CBD and the business interests here in Melbourne. Traditionally, the inner city has been dominated by Labor or Green representatives, yet it's important to have someone standing up for Melbourne as a financial centre, as a commercial centre. And with a background in financial journalism and shareholder activism, that's what I would also bring to the table as an independent in the Upper House. Now, I've run in plenty of elections before. Jeff Kennett's old seat, Peter Costello's old seat, 38 different public company boards as a shareholder activist. I was elected to Manningham City Council in November 2008, but this is the really big opportunity to get an independent voice into the Victorian Parliament. I only need about 2% of the vote to get elected. I've just got to finish ahead of the sex party or family first, and that should do the trick, because the preferences are coming from both the left and the right. The big challenge is getting that 2%. And for that, I need a couple of hundred volunteers to help to man almost 200 booths all the way from Docklands to Richmond to Bandura 
broad meadows and even up to Whittlesea and beyond. So on November 27, if you're available, give us a hand and we can make the upper house vote in Northern Metropolitan a powerful vote. Throw out an ALP time server and inject a bit of liveliness into the upper house, some feisty independence to keep the bastards honest and to serve the community well.